What's going on, you and the crew? I don't know if this thing live or not. It's not showing up on my end. Okay. Okay. Anyway, somebody said they did want to see how I had uh, fixed the image that I said I had bought from Etsy. So I'm going to do that quick video right quick where you might get an image every now and then where it's not closed off to make an SVG file. So, so I bought the image from Etsy. And when I the cricket don't store trivia, y'all don't know how that go. Okay. It's coming up slowly with shoulder. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Hopefully this be quick because I gotta go right back out. And I was just killing time to charge my phone and stuff up. So I said I guess I try to get a video real quick. Um, so I bought the image from Etsy. And I'm gonna show you what it it came out like and how I fixed it. Okay, so you upload the picture, upload image. Let's see. Yeah, I'll be trying to find my stuff before I because ain't no telling what I have on this laptop, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to put that on this one though. I still ain't put the um storage box. Okay, so this is the picture I bought off Etsy. A very pretty picture. I love the picture. The picture is very pretty. So now when I bought the file, it said it was an SVG. Exact words on the thing said SVG. Evidently, it's not. I'm up here, child. I'm trying to grab it. Y'all, I need to play on the laptop a lot more. Like it frozen. It ain't the laptop. It gotta be cricket because the laptop new and I ain't been using it for real. What's going on, Patrice? I don't know what's going on with this thing. I don't know if it's the image or cricket at this point. Let's try it again. Upload it. Yes, please hit the like button, y'all. Okay. This thing won't pop up. Let's see. Okay, there you go. It's acting a little, a little like it want to do something. Okay, this is the image, right? So over here, you see it's already like ungrouped as an SVG. She did a wonderful job making it because it is pretty. She understood what it's going to look like when people try to do it as a vinyl uh, cut. So it didn't come out right. So you're going to have to tweak it if you buy this file off of Etsy. So... This right here is supposed to be the shirt and everything. Now, as you can see, this is how it look. And if I use it as vinyl, it's not going to do right because it's going. I will have to 
weed my vinyl like this. That's wasting a lot of vinyl. Some people do do it like that, but when it's more detailed like this, I'd rather just do the, the shadow background. All this right here, you're not going to be able to use it. You can use it if you want to make a PNG. If you look up here on her hands with the arrow going at, you see how she did. She did a or so She colored that end up. She colored that. And then if I put the skin over there on top of it, y'all, I'm still learning the dog on laptop. You see, um, the skin will cover that orange then. But if I did that with vinyl, it's still going to be too much. It ain't going to do right. right. I'm telling you, it really ain't. Because look, it look like a, I don't even know what to call it. It ain't going to do right. Just I'm just letting you know now, you can't use none of this. So if you buy this file, you're going you're gonna to have to delete it. Use this here, and that's all you're going to be able to use. Okay. So you see, I cannot make it an SVG because the opening is right here at the bottom. So I need to close that off in order to make an SVG file. Now, if somebody else know another way, but it's all I know, and I've been doing it forever. But if they done upgraded and made it simple, if you know some, say something now. So what I do when I see if I go to contour now, I'm not gonna be able to change the color of nothing. If I push contour, it's gonna it got over here. You see that everything that's in dark. That can be contour, but you notice right here where it's white, it can't be because it's an opening at the bottom. I need to close that off, so that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to grab a shape, which I will grab a square as always. Just grab a square, and you're going to have to make it as thin as possible. You can bring it over here where you can see it, and then you can play with the little measurements up here. I just kind of, so with a width. Let's see. Let's do four with. Oh. We'll try. We'll try like a nine width. Or you can just drag. Just make sure you unlock the box. If you unlock the box, you can drag it and do all that yourself like this. Then bring it down here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you can see more. You, you have to close the lines off. The touch, they don't have to. So if you ever bought a file or got a file off Google and you were trying to hide because it had an opening spot somewhere. Now, it's not fun closing off a lot of it because I think her hands, I had to close that off as well. So I just gotta make sure I get it just right on the Chris. If you're okay with it being flat like how I'm finna make it, then that'll be a good thing. But right here on the end, need to be closed off too. See this little pair here? It needs to need all the connect. We'll just drag just a tiny more. Okay, drag this a little bit more. And then you can try to make it as skinny as possible for your lines won't be so thick. But no matter what, you need to close that off. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that. And then I'm going to go to combine. And I'm going to just push weld. Make sure you highlight all of it, including the little square. That you need to be in the box like this. And when you push in weld... I know I pushed it. Okay, there you go. Take another minute. Okay, so now you should be able to hide and contour all of it. But I noticed, like I said, um, on her hands, I'm going to have to slice. I, I think I had to slice. Let's go to contour. So you get your shadow now. At first, you couldn't get a shadow because the bottom You got to be tricky, y'all. I'm telling you, because okay, you got closed off. They can be removed now. At first, it couldn't because it was opening. Anytime you see a spot that's still connected to the outer layer, that means it's opening somewhere, and you have to close that opening. So now, 
I'm gonna duplicate a copy of that and I'm going to work with the other copy. Either one, it don't matter. So now, since I got my base, after I did duplicate them, I can go in and let's say whatever's gonna be red, I'm gonna save whatever's gonna be red. I do my phone a lot. Uh, the laptop, you can push um, hide all or show all. But right now, by being hide all, only thing that's hidden is everything, and y'all got this base. But in order to delete something, you have to highlight something. So if I try to delete that base, it's not going to let me because something always has to be highlighted. So I will highlight what I'm going to uh, make brown. I'm going to make her neck brown, her hands, shoulder. I might have should have made a green because some people be tripping when I do black on brown or color or something. They be like, why you made it black? Jeez. Okay, so right here, let's take in just a second. So make sure I highlight all the hands. This need to be brown. What else? Maybe it's just the outer layer of it. I'm just gonna try and well, let's just make sure we did everything. And we're gonna go back up here. I'm gonna exit. See, okay, I forgot. Okay, hold on. I need to do high at all, then I need to highlight her. Brown. Okay, so I forgot to delete the shadow. So highlight whatever's going to be brown and then go up here and delete this base. Then it'll leave you with only whatever's going to be brown. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense. So. Yeah, I'm not tripping. Or is everything just thing like it's appearing on me? Am I touching something? I ain't got no, no business. It's like stuff this here. This laptop is new. Okay. So we had a and I think I'm gonna leave the opening here. Did we leave the opening? We didn't. So we need to leave that, that opening on that brown because we gotta have, have the eyes. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I highlight her eyes as well. Because we need that to be open. Just the outer layer. If I can get it to highlight, Lord. Y'all is going so slow. Where For some reason, I'm not able to see it. Like once I've tried to do it, Cricket got something going on, y'all. Every time I try to be great, it just ticks me off. But you get what I'm saying? You got to make sure you open up the eye area for the black. Good evening. How you doing? Yeah, don't forget her fingers. It was something that was open. On here that I know I had to fix up here by this cup. We'll find out in just a sec, though. So I think I got everything. Okay, you see how I left that black in there? I need to go back in that contour and delete that. Hello. Hello.
that's where they supposed to go. So you just go over here over here to your uh right i'll tell you what's highlighted too whatever's in white that means it's highlighted so i need to find that circle which would be right here i don't want it to be white so i need to make it in a gray and it'll get rid of it you see it's gone now so right here i'll turn that brown or yellow or i'm gonna just turn it yellow and then uh i'm gonna zoom the screen out some and this will be my background. So I'm going to send that to back. Go up here to arrange. Send it to back. Okay. Do y'all get it so far? So anytime you get any kind of color image and it ain't coming together like you want to, you got to close something. That means something open. So I'm going to duplicate that, which is the body. I need another copy. So I'm going to duplicate that. And this time, I'm going to go to Contour. My eye was choppy. Because I'm like right here on to the thing, y'all. I'm sorry. E told me to get a, um, a microphone. My baby bought me a little bit of one for my birthday, y'all. I'm going to have to try to get one. And it, do it sound real bad right now? Should I turn something down? Let me see. Shan. Come here. I know you're tired. Yeah, my baby been riding with me all day since you got out of work. I turned the volume down. Because <laughs> I really just sat down. I'm sorry. Turn the volume down. They said my, my auto was choppy. Fucking yellow. What'd you touch? That might be too low. Is that too low, y'all? I don't know. I hope not. Why you touch that button there? What did you just touch? It's about a different color. No, so I just touched like that. Is that too loud? Probably because I'm yelling too, like Nisha said. But okay, so now breaking the sound barrier. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Next, we're going to do. Can, can y'all hear me? Shut up. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back and push hide all. So I'm push hide all this time to me. I'm gonna just highlight the cup. And then I'm going to delete the background up here. Because now the cup is highlighted and I can go ahead and delete the shadow. And then the only thing that will be highlighted will be the cup. So now I can go here. I don't know why the other day I did this. Okay, now I see it. Okay, I often say I had to fix the cup area for something. Is it still choppy, y'all? No, it's too loud. Keep going. You okay? Okay, good. Well, I didn't have to close none other day. Okay, so I need to go fix this area over here in the black. You see over here between our fingers? I think that's what I had to fix. So let me make sure. Let me go to high contour, but I'm gonna make sure it's selected and go to contour. Then I don't need that to be see through. I don't need them to be there. If that makes sense. What's up, Alicia, baby? Alicia said I'd be breaking the sound. <laughs> okay, so right here between the fingers, I'm um, I'm gonna just make those highlight. I'm gonna highlight those. Let me show you. They should be in white, I think. Yeah, because I need those to be. See through. See that part? Now they see through. Then right here between our neck, I need to go in and, and make those. So it's the same um, shadow. So the shadow there, you just need to delete it off the shadow. If you see that black area, that's part of that shadow. So go back to the shadow and open up areas like that. I feel like, like laptops just do the most. Okay, so right here between her neck and her finger, I'm going to highlight that. And that little crack right there, I get that. So now those are open. See? So that's how you fix that. And then, of course, like I said, I'm going to duplicate. I try to duplicate what's smaller. But like I said, you can do any one of them and then do hide all and then just pick what you want. So I duplicate the copy. 
I'm gonna go to high, high contour. This time I'm gonna push high. It will be um. I have to do her shirt, her shirt yet. So uh, whatever it's gonna be the color of her shirt, I do that. So I guess I can do a shirt yellow. So I can push hide all. No, 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 no. Let me go back. I did that wrong. Let me just highlight something there. Since I did that wrong, I could just highlight something. So I'm going to just highlight her sleeve. And up here at the top, I'm going to push that and make that in the gray area. Now all I have over here in this little cone is a sleeve because that's the only thing that's highlighted. So sometimes you can see what you're um, highlighting and making come over if you got a, a, a area where you can see. So I can just go ahead and keep highlighting what I want to keep. So I just want her sweater. I don't want nothing else. So I'm going to highlight all that. And then I'm going to exit back out. Well, I want her, whatever this thing going to be, to be that too. And I can't remember if that's supposed to be an opening or not. We're going to find out though. So right here. Okay, yeah. So... You just place it where it's supposed to go. You can change the color up here. You don't have to change the color. Only if you want to make a PNG, this is what you'll do. So next, like I said, we'll duplicate the, the cup again. You're going to have to you know, make multiple copies before you can do each layer. Go to contour. Okay. Okay, so after you do that, you'll find what you want to do next. I want her eyes to be white. So I'll go right here and I'll just select whatever's going to be white. Okay. And then I will delete the cup because I don't need the cup no more. You see it over here? That was the only thing I highlighted. And over here, the check was all highlighted. You see everything is in the gray box means it's not highlighted. If it's in the white, it means it's highlighted. So the only thing that's highlighted should be the eyes. If anything else in the white, that means you did something wrong. You got to go back and uncheck it. So I'm going to turn the eyes white. And then just drag them over there where I want them to go. And by that black background already being there that kind of just helps a whole lot with the like the pupil area and the way she designed it she had two little dots already um on the picture go back to contour so i'm gonna duplicate a copy of the eyes and i'm gonna go to contour again and let's just say if you want her to be yellow you can um go back to that yellow area that you did like the yellow uh layer add the nails to that yellow layer i'll show you that in a sec too but like with her eyes um i don't know if those was little dots or not we can just get them anyway and see yeah seeing that i don't know what that is every time i touch something like the picture disappear Okay. Let's say you just you can click on the eyes. Or no, I messed up. Let me go back. See her eyes here. That that white. We can just add them little dots to that white. Okay. Just go back to the white and just add the little dot. Okay. Obviously, yeah. This has been crazy. And I'm finna go again. Like the girl been trying to hustle, honey. Okay. Okay. So you can leave it like that if you want. You ain't got to do the dots. You can leave it like it was at first with just a little black. Um, you can change it to brown. Some people might like brown. I don't know how y'all would want to do it, but whatever you want to do, you can do it. So like I said, what if I wanted her nails to be yellow? You go back on that layer and just highlight it right here. And then you'll go to contour and you can just click on the nails to make nails yellow 
Come on, thingy. So just find it, you highlight it. See that turn black when you like. You rub your mouse across it. And she give you every color that she had on the image too. And I know one of them I, I had did first the red one. I had to fix that one. Okay, so these are the nails. So I did a nail yellow too. You don't have to do that. If you didn't want a nail gel and you want a red, you can just do the cup layer. And you can just do the red nails with the cup. I'm hoping I'm making sense. But other than that, I hope y'all learned something. I hope I made a lot of sense to some of y'all. Um, right now, all your layers are already separated. All you have to do is go flip your image horizontal if you're going to do iron on. If you're not doing iron on, if you're just doing regular sticker vinyl, you can leave it just like this. But if you're going to do iron on, you got to make sure everything is highlighted. And then flip it horizontal. Do not resize nothing either. Need to be so you see everything. You can go up here where they select all. Push select all. Everything should be highlighted. If, if everything is not highlighted and change the, the width and the height. And then one little dot be missing from your image. It, it just, it's going to mess the whole thing up. So you make sure everything is highlighted. Go up here. You go to flip. And you go to horizontal if you're doing iron on. The image should look backwards like that. You go to make it. And Cricut to separate every color for you. And you tell it what match you want it on and everything. So the bigger you do it, the bigger the match. I'm happy to help. You know that. So the first layer be white, and y'all don't have to. You don't have to cut it on separate mats. If you if you good with counting your little dots, knowing how to lay your vinyl, you know that the little white is in the area. You'll cut enough just to go in this area here. You get a little white script and make sure it go from one to three. That's what I do. And you can put it all on a twelve by twenty four mat. That's you know. Let's just say if you did want to put the white over there, so I go back to this white mat and I highlight it. Just say okay up here, child. You be doing too much. Come on. I don't know why it won't let me do this one. Oh goodness, it just gotta give me a hard time. So up here, you see where these three dots set. You can move this anywhere you want to move to any mat you want to move. So I say move object, and I push this black mat. So they say I want the skin color and the background all up, like on one mat. So let me zoom out some. So this one's going to be on the 12 by 24 mat. So I put the brown down here at the bottom, right? That way I cut enough brown just to go right there, like to. It says it'll start at 18. So you'll cut enough. I cut like up in that middle part of that 17 all the way down. Where it say? Six. Yeah. So about that six line or seven. That line says, let's see, that's a seven. So I, I think it's up in the six here, but I go all the way over to the seven. Yeah. So make sure you just pay attention to your numbers. That line, wherever that line right here and that to the at the top, you bring that, that width wise to that, that line there, which is probably a seven. You can always count the squares too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exactly. So you'll cut it all the way over here to cover that line. So you can make sure you got enough vinyl and not mess up your image. You know, you want to make sure you ain't cutting off of your vinyl, you know. So just enough. But you'll start it up here at the 18. So you'll cut enough to go across that way and down. And you'll put the brown. So that's how your brown will go there. You do your next color. You can bring your next color over there if you want to. Just from keeping having to do so many cuts. But it some people prefer it, some people don't. I be want to get it over with. So I put it. <laughs> All colors, whatever fit on one mat. And I just count my lines like I'm showing you. And like that little red. I need enough to cover one, two, three. Three squares. I started this eight and all the way over there to the corner. And then it'll be four across. I hope I made sense to somebody. But you just had to put your red right here, your black right here. And your brown at the bottom. Whatever other things you add to the mat. You just got to pay attention what number to put it over there. If you put it over here. Say you did it on the 16 line, 
put your vinyl starting at that 16. If your image stopped a little in this area here, you know it stopped at the 19. You make sure you got enough vinyl to cover that area. But yeah, y'all, that's all I got. I'm going to get out of here. I, I just tried to help a little bit. I hope I helped somebody. And if I talk too fast, let me know. If I can, whatever I need to do to make it better for you, just say it. And because I be trying. I hope y'all have a blessed one. I'm going to get up off this thing, y'all. Let's see. Any questions? I got into 9.30 at the max, but I'm going to be trying to be gone by 9.20. Hey, 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 hey. I appreciate everybody that came in. Please hit the like button. What's up, Dipsy Poo? Craft of Puerto Rican. How y'all doing? T. Hill, I'm happy to see your face, baby. We ain't seen you in a minute. I'm happy to see you doing well. Happy to see everybody. Appreciate each and every last one of y'all. I don't see no questions, so your girl about to get up out of here. My man. Yes. I mean, like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I'm not saying you have to do it exactly like I was showing. If you know a better way, do that way. I was just trying to help for the ones that didn't know uh, you can not close an image. Like, you can find images on Google uh, that you want to do, and sometimes you can't do, like, you want to change the color, and you can't because it got no sleeves or no bottom part. It just be an outline. So anytime you find any image that look like that, you can you can make an SVG file in Cricut. You just got to do a little elbow grease, but it works. Thank you, girl. I try. Get ready to do something. Okay, I'm happy to help, man. And play rewind. I got a couple videos on here showing how to hide and contour. Maybe one of those will be a little better. I got a couple of different ways you can clean images on Cricut uh, instead of just hitting the white background. I show how you can just hit the black and remove the box from around it. I'm telling you, it's some some tricks you can find on here by mistakes. <laughs> how you were going to get the outline. Oh, yeah. Girl, and it was crazy because I, I was determined. I can't remember what pitch I did, but I think that's the very first video I ever showed y'all on how to hide and contour and how to close an image because it was an image I wanted so bad and I couldn't figure out why I could not change the colors of that image. And I was determined to find out, y'all. And I'm like, I wonder if I do this and that. And I did, and it worked. So, yes, I got to see. Oh, Williams, that's okay, baby. We got replay all day. Replay, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Y'all have a blessed one. I do got to go. I love y'all so, so much. I appreciate the support. No cap. Good night, y'all.